Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Boker USB out the front knife. Um, but first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. Let's get into it. So um, I saw this knife online and I thought, okay, it looks pretty cool. It's like a little mini... OTF, uh, you know, out the front uh, auto knife um, from Boker, and it is it's tiny. So I thought, okay, I like my tiny knives. I I like autos. I'll see. I'll see what this is all about. Um, so I ordered it, and what the hell is this? <laughs> so apparently my box got chewed up by a dog or something. I do not have a dog, uh, but thank you, uh, Blade HQ, for. <laughs> destroying my box. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get this guy opened up and see what it's all about. So, what do we have here? Okay, we have two brochures. <laughs> one wasn't enough. I guess one is in German, one's in English. All right, thank you for that, Boker. All right, cool. wow, this guy is tiny. Fits in the palm of my hand. Let's go ahead and get the box out of the way. Pretty interesting. So, first thing I notice is it's super slick. Really slick. I'm assuming this is feels like aluminum. Interesting. Should we get it fired up? Let's go. Wow. Okay. That was actually pretty good. The the action is is not bad. It's kind of it's kind of chewing up my thumb already, as you can see, but. It's not a big deal. Action is not bad. It's D2 steel, which is fine. Oh, okay, so this is, I forgot, this is a, a collab with Cobra Tech and Boker. So I think it might actually be manufactured um, by Cobra Tech. Um, maybe it was designed by Boker. I'm not sure exactly what the, what the split on that is, but Got a nice collab, um, hologram, got compound, D2 steel, and this is kind of like a black wash finish. The, oh, wow, <laughs> okay. So the, um, the blade is not sharp at all. I mean, you can see there, there, there's a bevel, but just not, I mean, like a, like a butter knife, not even close to being sharp, interesting. Well, that's not great, but action is fine. Huh, interesting. No no pocket clip, which is a bummer, but I guess you're supposed to, you know, just put this in your fifth pocket or even on a keychain. It's got the lanyard hole. Huh. All right, well, interesting little knife. It is unboxed now, and it will stay out of the box, um, out of the chewed up <laughs> box. Uh, but I'll go ahead and have this in pocket for a little bit and see see what it's all about. And, oh, see, that was a little, uh, was a little gritty on the slide there. Eh, okay, yeah, we'll see how this holds up. Um, carry it for a few days and I'll be back with my review. All right, thanks for watching. 